France next week will see a celebration of its national drivers, including Alpine's Esteban Ocon. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our official home on unbeaten.com. Esteban Ocon heads home to Circuit Paul Ricard next week for what is set to be the final Formula One event at the Marseille track. And while it may not be the last French Grand Prix with plans for a street race in nearby Nice, Paul Ricard will be a proud moment for Ocon, with the 25-year-old coming home a Grand Prix winner, following his impressive victory in Budapest last year. We feel that um, you know we've, we've progressed uh, during the season and we want to keep that going. Uh, of course, with my group of, of engineers, um, with my mechanics and, and everybody, we want to you know, keep progressing uh, step by step and hopefully we can, we can keep, keep that going like last year. To up the pace into this year, Ocon modified his pre-season training routine using the compacted schedule to get the best from himself. It was shorter than the previous years, but I've managed to, to change a bit the process of, of how I was training, you know, get um, all the, the important things that I've learned from the previous years straight away from, from day one of training. So I feel that I'm, I'm in a very good uh, position. And a good position Ocon is in, with the Frenchman a consistent force at the French-backed, French-powered, British-based squad having scored points at eight of the first 11 rounds. Across the first 11 races, Ocon was edged out by his two-time F1 world champion teammate Fernando Alonso, four to seven in qualifying, but was ahead in races when they could be compared and on points. And while the pair are fiercely competitive, you might be surprised with how close Alonso and Ocon are off track. Over 2021, uh, I think we we had good fun together. We we worked together, um, and, and we understood that uh, it's the best thing for for the team and for the performance of ourselves as well. And yeah, during the winter it was a long period that we didn't see each other, so we were uh, uh, texting sometimes, and we have a WhatsApp group with Laurent as well. And uh, yeah, we were having fun and uh, and obviously missing each other a little bit. Ocon may have the Spaniards' measure right now, but a bigger challenge is ahead, perhaps from 2025 on, in the form of Oscar Piastri, who Alpine CEO Laurent Rossi says is the future of the squad. He's going to learn a lot with us, he's going to bring us as well uh, his uh, unique expertise because he's a great driver, he, know, he knows uh, driving lines uh, better than anyone else, so he will probably be able to uh, bring his contribution to uh, even the senior uh, pilots, uh, drivers such as uh, Fernando and, and Esteban. So uh, really looking forward to building the future with Oscar. So there's lots to think about as Ocon and Alpine head home. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.